The Little Mailman of Bayberry Lane It was a lovely, clear autumn morning in Bayberry Lane. The trees were bright yellow and red. The thistles were sparkling with dew. And there was that good bayberry smell coming from the bushes on either side of the lane. Even though it was very early, Mrs. Goose had wandered far up the lane picking bayberries. She was going to make bayberry candles that day. Besides, she always liked to be the first to welcome the little mailman, for he always had the latest gossip. She peered up the lane to see if he was in sight. Mrs. Duck was sweeping the yellow leaves off her walk. She too kept going out to her mailbox and looking up the lane. I do hope there's a letter from my sister, she thought. Mr. Turtle was sitting on his front step in the warm sunshine. His eyes were closed, but he wasn't asleep. He was listening for the cheery whistle of the little mailman. I wonder if he'll bring my new tulip catalog, he thought. But he didn't go out to the gate and look up the lane. Shucks, he said. What's the hurry anyhow? Around the bend in the lane was Mrs. Pig's house. Mrs. Pig was waiting by her mailbox, even though she never received any letters. Every morning she hoped for one, but every morning the little mailman passed her by. Then from up the lane came the little mailman's chatter. Ah, Mrs. Goose, you're out early this morning. Here's your mail. Have you heard that the robins are going south for the winter? And Mrs. Duck! A yellow letter for you today. Yellow means good news, you know. He put a tulip catalog into Mr. Turtle's mailbox and called, Hi, Mr. Turtle. Here are two lips for you that won't talk back. Ha, 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 ha. And as quickly as he had come, he was around the bend in the lane. And there was Mrs. Pig standing by her mailbox waiting for him. The little mailman put on a bright smile and called, Good morning, Mrs. Pig. Say, do I smell apple tarts this morning? I have one here for you, said Mrs. Pig. Today's my baking day, you know. He bit into the tart. Mmm, mmm. Mrs. Pig, you're the very best cook in Bayberry Lane. He thought, I wonder why Mrs. Pig never gets any letters. Maybe it's because she never writes any herself. I wonder why she doesn't have any friends. Maybe it's because she never goes out anywhere to make friends. Maybe she's shy and afraid to try. Somebody ought to get her started. He was still munching the apple tart. Hmm, he said. Today is Friday. I wonder what she'll bake next Friday. Then he had a wonderful idea. <laughs> wonderful, he shouted and he couldn't wait to get home to start working on it. The little mailman's house was under a stone wall, so it was always dark in his rooms, even in the middle of the day. He lighted one of Mrs. Goose's bayberry candles and sat down at his table to write. He wrote, You are invited to a surprise party for Mrs. Pig next Friday afternoon at three. Then he popped the invitation into a pink envelope for Mr. and Mrs. Goose then another one for the ducks, and one for Mr. Turtle. The next morning, after the little mailman had passed through Bayberry Lane, all was excitement. Everyone but Mrs. Pig had received a pink invitation. There hadn't been a party in the lane for a long time. Mrs. Goose was ironing her party sash. Mrs. Duck was sticking new feathers in her party hat and Mr. Turtle was shaking mothballs out of the pockets of his party jacket. But Mrs. Pig was still sad and lonesome as she went about her housework. On Friday, she did her baking as usual. This time, she made apple tarts and little lemon cakes all covered with hickory nuts. She set them on the windowsill to cool and went out to work in the garden. At three o'clock, 
She was just picking a bouquet of chrysanthemums when she heard, surprise, surprise, and up popped six heads from her garden wall. She dropped the flowers and dropped the scissors and stood with her mouth wide open. She could hardly believe her eyes. Then she remembered her manners and said, oh, do come in, won't you? They all scrambled over the stone wall, all except Mr. Turtle, who went around and through the gate. Mrs. Goose said, I've brought you one of my handmade bayberry candles. They smell so good when they're burning. Mrs. Duck said, I brought you a feather duster I made myself. The little mailman had brought her a basket of hickory nuts. And just then, Mr. Turtle arrived and presented her with one of his best tulip bulbs. It was the happiest afternoon of Mrs. Pig's life, and everyone had a wonderful time at the party. They played croquet on the lawn. Mrs. Pig brewed a big pot of tea and served her apple tarts and lemon cakes. The party didn't end until dark. The following day, the little mailman chatted with everyone as usual, all down Bayberry Lane. And as he came to Mrs. Pig's house, he whistled a merry tune, for in his mailbag were six thank you letters for Mrs. Pig. Mrs. Pig was so excited that she read them right where she stood. Mrs. Pig was never sad and lonely after that. There were so many visits to be made, so many parties, and so many letters to be answered. And Mrs. Pig knew that she owed all her newfound happiness to her very best friend, the little mailman of Bayberry Lane. Well, I hope you like the book about the little mailman, and I hope you come back for our next one. I love you guys. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now. <laughs>